at breakfast. BBC Radio York. Very good morning to you. It's Kay Cruton with you at breakfast. Uh, keep your emails coming in as well. I've got some great ones. I need to share them with you. I will, I promise. It's k at bbc.co.uk. Now, life is never dull for our Jericho Keys. Yesterday, he was Rocket Man out and about building his rocket. Today, he's aiming for the stars. He is helping put the star into Starbeck as people in the town try to win a prestigious National Britain in Bloom award. Morning, Jericho. Good morning, Kay. Well, it's cold and it's wet, but enough about me. I am in Starbeck and this is because of Starbeck in Bloom. And you may think, Kay, with the frost and the cold, don't be fooled at thinking the gardeners are putting their trowels away because they're still... They're not enjoying this winter hibernation. They're still working hard to try and get Starbeck in bloom. And I've been looking around this morning. The spring bulbs are out. The snow drops are just, just creeping out, trying to make their way out. Because this is because in Starbeck, they are trying to get this prestigious award. And also, as I look just across the road from me, there is Pierre. If you don't know what Pierre is, Pierre is a metal sort of... Is it, would we call it a statue? Yeah, it's a statue, a metal statue of someone on a penny farthing, and that's because that was celebrating the Tour de France. Well, with me now is Christine Stewart. He's one of the people involved in putting the star, be- star into Beck. Good morning. Good morning. Quite like that, didn't you? That star into Beck. Very good. I remember that one. <laughs> so, how much of a big deal is this for Star Beck then? It's a very big prestigious place to go to is Britain in Bloom. After being in Yorkshire in Bloom for so many years we've always done very well in Yorkshire in Bloom and we enjoy entering the competition because we started in 1998 and it has led us into if you like stardom for Starbeck. <laughs> uh, I like that one. I'm going to pick that one up. Um, however, being nominated to go into the national is a really big deal. Um, and we really do want to work together and let everybody in the country, because remember it's the United Kingdom, and we want everybody to know where Starbeck is. Well, we most certainly know where Starbeck is because I've been through here on Finders Keepers before when I do my other job. And me and Jeremy Buxton have always commented when we've been driving through how beautiful it looks as you drive through. It must be a very strong community feel. I know that when we've spoke to people here before on Finders Keepers, it's, we've always felt very welcomed by people. It is a very special place, this Starbeck, which is why we've adopted the slogan for this year as Starbeck is special, dot, 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 because of all the special... Um, churches, special schools, special businesses, uh, everything that we have is special, but really most of all the people are special. So what's it going to take then to win gold? A lot of hard work, I think. A lot of the community helping completely. You know, we don't want anybody to ever walk over a piece of litter without picking it up, please. Um, (laughs) We just want everybody to help. You know, even just in little tiny ways, supporting us. Um, And, of course, tomorrow evening we've got a very big event where we're hoping nearly all of Starbeck will come out um, and just learn what we're going to do and what we've got planned for the summer. And that's the idea. Well, where is a special event if people want to come and listen to the ideas? It's in Starbeck in the St Andrew's Church Hall, the very large church hall just over there. there, Um, It's difficult to car park, we'll bring that up. Um, But (laughs) we're hoping that everybody will come. Um, The co-op have been brilliant. They've supported us and sponsored us with wine and cheese for the evening. Um, And so it's going to be a good social event where everybody can meet all the different groups that are in Starbeck. There are over 28 different groups in Starbeck um, and we want to just pull them all together and make the judges of Britain in Bloom see how special we are. I like how you're using that slogan, you're working that very well. Um, If people want to do get involved, I know that people will do because they feel very strongly about the community. I know this morning, very early on, you told me not to say but you had a quick scout around to see if there's any rubbish, didn't you? Because that's how passionate you are about it. Is it just picking at rubbish or do you want people to plant bulbs or cut bushes, what do you want them to do? 
We have lots of events where people can get more actively involved rather than just picking up litter. Makes us sound as if we have a lot of litter. We don't. We're, I'm just fanatical about litter. Uh, you want to hear me on the motorways. Um, but we have, like, there's a library garden just here behind you, which is a communal garden. And in April, we're going to ask everybody that has any spare plants, herbaceous or perennial plants, to come along and bring them and dig them in. Um, and that's the sort of event that we like people to join together with. Um, and so we join with the groups of the scouts and the guides and everybody joins together. And yes, you can do other things than pick litter up. Well, Kate, me and Christine are going to have a walk now down to the other side because mm -hmm. there is an outside gym. Ooh. So I'm going to be doing some uh, pull-ups and About working on my triceps and uh, biceps. Work on the old summer body. Well, I'm going to go to this uh, wine and cheese night tonight as well, um. so... <laughs> No good. Oh, we'll tomorrow's. Do... It's tomorrow, isn't it? It's tomorrow anyway. So go now. I'll do be going to one tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, you can do a few lunges and then you'll earn your wine and cheese for tomorrow. Brilliant. Thank you, Jericho. Like a deal. <laughs> Great deal. Wine and cheese. She's so... never dull for our Jericho keys. Yesterday, do you remember? He was out and about being Rocket Man. He built a rocket and launched it, didn't he? Today he's helping put the star into Starbeck. Uh, he's got his gardening gloves at the ready to help launch Starbeck's attempt to win Britain in Bloom Gold. Now, we've heard about Pierre the Cyclist on a penny farthing and the insect hotels, and I sent him off to find the outdoor gym, but did he bother? Morning, Jericho. Have you got a sweat on then or what? Talking about putting the star in Starbeck, I'm going to be like an athletic star by the end of this. <sighs> Absolutely worn out. I've been on the pull-ups, I've done the leg extensions, the cross trainer. I've also been working on my six-pack of uh, beer. Yeah, I've been on it all. I've been on it all, Kay. Mm. I have been grafting on it. Oh, I have. Have you now? You know, I've, I have. If you could see beads of sweat coming down my face now. Children have been waiting for the bus at the side of the road here in Starbeck, looking over, thinking, is that one of the Brownlee brothers? No, no, it's just me from Radio York, working on my abs at 10 to 9 on the morning. And I wanted to try and get the vehicle over there, Kay, so we could do it live, but unfortunately it wouldn't reach, and I didn't want to drive over the bulbs and the snowdrops. So, Christine Stewart took me on a little tour a little earlier on. This is Adiman's Wood, named after the Adiman family that gave this Belmont field to Starbeck. Um, and this is just a little area that we've adopted and we use it as a wildlife area. You can see as we're walking along, we have benches, the owl benches. We have artificial toadstools. And just a bit further on, we have our last project, which was the hedgehog project, where we were encouraging more hedgehogs to come to Starbeck. So we gave them a few wooden ones as well. Information on the big board here about how to look after hedgehogs if you find them. And this was carved for us. It's beautiful, isn't yeah, it? it really is. Um, the whole area has, you can see all the bird boxes. You can hear the birds. So it's a good wildlife area. And the local groups of cubs and scouts and guides and brownies use this area for their conservation projects and help us to look after it. And as we come through this bit here, we're just going past all the wooden sculptures, like you said, the owls and the hedgehogs. Mm. And we've got to the end here, and there is the outside gym. So does this get used a lot by people, then? Oh, yes, yes. Um, you'll find in an evening it's mainly teenagers and... Uh, but during the day, we get a lot of mums on it because, as you see, it's right next to the belt, the play area um, and you can bring the children, the smaller children can play in the play area quite safely while the adults have a workout. And it is all full gym equipment. I think there's, what, 11 pieces? Do you want to have a go? Yeah, let's go over and have a little <laughs> go. You say the... Uh... <laughs> The parents come here during the day when the children are playing. I'm sure that's a workout in itself, just looking after <laughs> toddlers and such like. But let's go on to this one. I hope my jeans don't split because they are quite tight, actually. Oh, right. What's this then? The double air walker. Hold the handlebar before stepping on, using your hips. All right, I've got snake hips, I can do that. If you just like to hold that piece of... Right, here we go, OK. This is my sort of thing. It's wet, look. Oh, yes. <laughs> this doesn't really work well for radio, does it? But I can, no. but I am doing it, Kay. I am doing it, and my jeans have uh, su sustained. Well, I don't believe he did it, though. Well, there we claim to. Well, he... I, did, I, I did do it, you see. So, mm. as you know, Bitterman Bloom is launching tomorrow. Christine, how important is it? 
It's very important for Starbeck to now be in the national campaign. After all, we want to prove to the whole of the United Kingdom that there's a lot of stars in Starbeck. Well, there you go, Kay. A lot of stars in Starbeck. There certainly is. Thank you. We'll check out your muscles tomorrow, young man. Thank you, Jerry Kerr. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find